today I want to share with you a dream that I had last night. Uh, but before I do that, I want to talk about two brothers that I have in real life. One of these brothers uh, is very close to me. And we always discuss about false doctrine. One of the doctrines that we discuss about is eternal security. Once saved, always saved. Now, this brother doesn't really believe in it. But the approach that he has with brothers who do believe is different. I tell him more that we should be careful or what kind of things we should accept in our gathering when we come together. And what kind of people we also accept inside our groups or gatherings or assemblies or whatever you want to call it. I mean, at the end of the day, if we're going to accept people that believe these kinds of things, let's imagine we go outside and we want to preach the gospel to other people. I mean, we don't want to confuse unbelievers. I could be preaching about maybe that we have to endure with Jesus until the end and another brother who believes in one saved, always saved. He will talk more about the fact that we are now saved, that it's okay to, you know, be happy and uh, enjoy the grace of God. So we would be confusing people. And because of that, I always had uh, the conviction that I should be careful with these brothers. Now, yesterday I had a dream. In that dream, I was sitting on a table with that brother that I spoke to you about, the brother who thinks that it's okay to fellowship with other believers who believe in these false doctrines. And I was eating with him. There was other, there were other people <clears throat> on the table. And all of these people were eating the same plate. I had in front of me a plate with food. And the food that I had was uh, salmon fish. Now, a big part of that was really good. Well done. But there was a small part that was uh, not well cooked. It was really bad, slimy kind of uh food you know and um, my brother he had the same plate in front of him and he was looking at it and telling me that doesn't uh, look right you know what should we do with that and I told him something which was a bit striking I told him that the portion of the food that wasn't well cooked that was bad it has bacteria we should be careful with it and I told him we shouldn't give bad food to the people of God. Now there was another part of the dream. I saw a man. This man came to me. And he put a camera on me. And as soon as I realized that I had to speak. I had to say something. I said something which was. Uh, which came out of the blue. Basically it was something that I didn't expect. But I said this. I said. It will be my job. It is my job. To destroy the doctrine of once saved, always saved. And I said, as long as I live, I will do it. And that ended the dream. And I wanted to share that dream with you. To tell you that from now on, I will be talking more about this doctrine. I didn't want to talk about it. Because I don't like to focus on false doctrines. But now that I received that dream, I will talk about it more. I believe now that when we have the truth and God gives us truth, it is our job to speak the whole truth that God gives us. There is a reason that we have truth. You know, Jesus gives the parable of the talents and he says that whatever talent he gives us, we should use. We see in the book of Revelation also John, God told him to eat the scroll and then to go prophesy. I believe that if God gives me something, then I have to go shine that truth that God gives me. And if I have truth, then any part of the truth that I have is something that God trusted me with. To go and share it with other people. I'm just sharing this to tell you that I will be speaking more about that. 
I will maybe do another section, call it uh, once saved, always saved or something. But we need to expose this bad doctrine because it is leading people at worst to a lifestyle of sin while these people think that they are eternally saved and at best to a lukewarm Christian life which is a very dangerous because we know what Jesus says to the people who are lukewarm that he will spit them out of his mouth I hope that me doing this will not offend brothers who maybe are genuine about their love for Jesus but still believe in it because at the end of the day brothers we all will stand before Jesus and I care about brothers not having the shock when they stand before him and he will tell them that they were not saved or he will tell them that they will not enter the kingdom because they use the grace of God as a license to go live their own lives and continue in sin. I hope this message blesses you today, brothers, and may God bless you.